Note to young players, don't boast about your plums early in the season. So a few nod of vlogs ago, I mentioned how well my plums were growing this year. Today they were hammered by hail. Pulverised plums, never a good look. This immediately brought to top of mind one of my favourite aircraft, the Cessna 208 Caravan, and I have been a passenger in uh, those more than once in horrendous weather. And just like the weather, in fact, that destroyed my plums. If we're going to have delivery drones, then they're going to have to be able to cope with the weather. Last week I told somebody that if I wanted to make a delivery drone, I would make a small caravan. Cessna must have rolled all the dice and come up with sensible performance compromises in the design. What about using the full-sized ones? Thus then makes me think today. The weather's still a factor, but of course it's not quite as large if there's nobody there to buy the farm driving it. Aurora Flight Sciences has a system called Alias, and that in simple terms sits a robot on the co-pilot seat and instantly transforms aircraft into fully autonomous platforms. Better still, Alias is twin engine rated for the DA-42 and uh, also has a helicopter ticket for the S-76. FedEx operates in the order of 260 caravans. Every one could have Alias sat in the seat rather than our building spotty youth. We had that <laughs> SUS News uh, Tian Rue was just such a spotty youth our building but this time in Africa between safari camps. There are airfields across the world that operate caravans. They have all the maintenance staff and equipment required to make them work. FedEx also do something I never see spoken of for delivery drones. They mostly work at night. That instantly gets rid of balloon, glider and microlight traffic, along with 99% of PPL holders. The weather is also kinder with most of the convection gone. What's a chap to do then but jump into the sim and check the theory? Real ADSB traffic in the busiest part of South Africa fed into Mission Planner with Arch Pilot commanding an X-plane aircraft. Of course, actually, there was nothing to prove. There was no low-level traffic to hit in Hauteng. One interesting high-level track, though, is going by right now, and that's a Google Loon at 55,000 feet. I wonder if they'll be part of the UTM system in the future. Fairly large manned aircraft, then. Converted and flying at night to remote airfields might be a great way to stock hubs for smaller drones to deliver in the daylight one or two kilo packages.